Got to get it, Papa. Hey! Look out! Well, here I am. I'm, I'm uh, at the airport. Look that. This is the 1940s air terminal. And I'm in Houston, Texas. And actually, this is at uh, the Hobby Airport. But this is the old airport terminal. The new airport terminal is uh, back there behind that fuel truck. But uh, we gotta go inside and, and see what's what. Because it's a pretty cool place. And look over there. That's a pretty groovy uh, plane there. It's kind of cold. It's a about 49 degrees or something like that 48 degrees out here there's another little plane I don't know who that's for but this is where I'm going the Houston Municipal Airport Terminal and look that let's go inside and see what they got in there and that's where I am and I gotta go that way but look that this is what airports used to look like. It's too bad they don't still look like this. <laughs> it's kind of noisy because there's jets taking off right outside there. But it's still a work in progress. They still have areas they're, they're renovating. Um, as the funds come along. But we're gonna walk around a little bit. First I'm gonna take a look over here. Let's see, I got my luggage over here, ready to get checked in. <laughs> There's some information. I'm gonna put all this at the bottom there, so y'all can uh, y'all can find out more about it and the efforts to uh, keep restoring the the building. This is kind of cool because these suitcases have actual brands on them. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that. These are real Texas suitcases. These are more typical. <laughs> and, and look that. If you're a card player, they got you covered. Remember when uh, you go on an airplane and they give you a, a set of cards? And uh, a deck of cards? And look, there's a double one. And a little case. That's one that even shows what kind of plane you were flying on. Because it would be very specific with them. You might see some, some airlines you don't recognize. We're going to head out these doors past the spotlight. And uh, take a look at some. Oh my God, yeah. This is a load star. And that's parked out here in front of the terminal. And yes, it is a working airport. Hobby's a busy airport. So <laughs> it's kind of neat. 1942 Lockheed Load Star made for the military to transport officers and cargo. Hmm. It has two nine cylinder Wright cyclone engines on it, 1200 horsepower each. The one on this side was made by Wright Aircraft. The one on that side was made by Studebaker. Oh, wow. Because in World War II, all the, all the military took over the production of war material and had all the companies working on the same thing. <laughs> all making the same thing, even though they're in different places. Right. That's something. Everything was under license at the time. Yeah, let's see. Right. 
There's the history on it. All right, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Obviously, it's not set up for military transport right now. <laughs> yeah. Many years ago, it came here, donated to the museum, and it was set up for commercial uh, transport. Business transport. Wow. And you, when you come in, the, the nose is pointing up a little bit, so you have to go up the ramp, kind of, to get to the front. <laughs> Let's go see what's up here. Yeah, it's like a jump seat. And there's your, uh, all your stewardess stuff. <laughs> and there's the cockpit. And these were originally uh, military aircraft. And this one was converted to civilian use. And then, like he said, it was donated to the museum here. Take a look back down. There you go. You got your cup holders and stuff. And I'd be willing to bet you could uh, use real metal knives and forks to eat your uh, meal, in-flight meal in here. Yep, pretty nice accommodations. And if you uh, don't like the view, you can just pull the curtains closed. A little bit larger than you find nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a, a, a huge lavatory because they didn't call it a uh, bathroom, it was a lavatory. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a little information on it. Yeah, that's, uh, I was kind of curious at where they put the cargo or luggage and they had little doors all on the front, kind of underneath. And that's it. It's pretty fun. Really down there, somebody's getting ready to take off. This is a big. Who's the big jet for? <laughs> that's Tillman Fertitta's 767 for uh, the rockets. Oh, okay. And that's his yeah. hangar over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool when you have your own hangar that big. <laughs> it used to be Howard Hughes. Oh, really? That's yeah. one of the old ones. Yeah. Howard Hughes yeah. is one of the reasons why this airport existed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I know that uh, one of the hangars over here is one of the older ones. Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, back in the day they would pull the plane up and you just get off and walk in. Yeah. You didn't have a, a little tunnel. To... Yeah, they have a video that talks about the history of the airport and the efforts to uh, to get it all fixed up. And this is one of the rooms, eventually this will all be replastered and everything, the ceiling will be put back, the moldings and the trim and all. And uh, up there, that's actually a remote controlled model <laughs> plane that would f actually fly. And uh, you see it's got two engines and working uh, landing gear and everything. So that'd be pretty cool to see. There we are. Yeah, back here is a, sort of like a history of the different airlines that flew through here. There's a propeller, <laughs> a propeller blade. The TWA. Try motor. It looked dead. Little bitty uh, flight attendant bag. You can put your spare change in that. And there's a flight attendant ready to, to greet you and, and bring you on board. <laughs> and look that. Uh, I wish all flight attendants would dress like that these days. 
That's pretty fancy, all the way down to her toes. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's, that's the definition of groovy. That's a, a cool airplane on an ash tree. Western Airlines. We get some radio chatter coming in so you can hear what's going on. All kinds of stuff. Ooh, that's a cool uh, toy airplane. That's a big one too. Look at my hand next to that. Even the giant finger is, oh wait, now the giant finger is bigger than the airplane. Pan Am. Let's see, that's what the, the bags usually look like. <laughs> or that. All kind of stuff. They had little shaving kits. Oh, that's fancy. You flew in first class, they give you a little shaving kit. <laughs> in case you were kind of rough looking. Here's another one, Transstar Air Cargo. Ooh, and look at that Southwest outfit. The cool cap. Whoa. I'm not sure what Southwest, that was their flight attendants dressed like that? That would, uh, that would, yeah, hope oh, wow. All sorts of memorabilia. Mmm, there's some delicious airplane snacks. Oh. TTA, does anybody remember TTA? Trans Texas Airways? Or some people used to be facetious and say treetop airlines. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. That's, that name came out somewhere, and I remember hearing that. This is a little bitty uh, stewardess, and she's all westerny style. Because look, they, they were all they had cowboy hats and everything, or cowgirl hats. Then they got modernized. There's an official TTA. All kind of stuff in here. Oh, look at that. Fancy fast model. Now that's a fancy jet to be flying on. Continental. Yeah. Take it from me and George. TTA is the way to fly. Uh, here's some things you don't see on planes anymore. Glassware, silverware, ceramic and glass utensils and plates. Here's some more over here. Continental. And those aren't that old, that's pretty modern. Look at the little salt and pepper tings. Yep. I'm not even sure. Do you even get a little plastic swizzle stick for your drink anymore? On a plane? I don't know what they can give you these days. Oh, these are cool. Actually, they keep your drink cool. Y'all heard of koozies or huggies or whatever they call it that you put your can or bottle drinks in? This is when they first started making an immense amount of styrofoam and that little blue thing is like soft plastic so you could smash your drink into that and it would hold it and supposedly keep it cool except in the south where it's real humid your bottle or your can would sweat 
and this thing would <laughs> get a bunch of water in it. So when you tilt it up to drink, it would drip all over you. Uh, don't ask me how I know that. Oh, I like the uh, the cool little microphone in there. Oh, and here's a, a cool flight attendant outfit. And that was a senior one. Remember, if you see that, you better leave it alone. Just turn around and walk away, because it's occupado. Yeah, let's see, I'm gonna walk through to the other side of the lobby. And uh, this is pretty cool. Look that. This is the original airport rotating beacon you know how they have the lights up on top and they spin around so you can see that which is helpful when you're trying to fly in and it's dark that's what that looks like yeah this is interesting here I'll show this and you can pause that and read that so let's see what's going on around the corner here Oh, yeah, all kind of stuff. Oh, we got space stuff in here. All the way up to the shuttle. And look that. Y'all ever use one of these to take dictation? You, you yell in there and it goes in there and it saves that and then somebody can uh, make a letter out of that to send to somebody and that's a that's a suitcase fix you up with that you can hang your stuff in there and, and put your briefcase at the bottom and then you you put all your other stuff on there and you'd be ready to go after you close it up there's a handheld spotlight Look at that. You ever use one of those? Probably not. Me either. But that's a genuine handheld spotlight. And look up there on the wall. That's some blueprints of this very airport. And this hot half of the building is uh, all aviation type stuff. Not particular to certain airlines. But just aviation in general. Look like at all the instruments and the technology. See, there's a uh, <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> Can you see him in there? Uh, that's another remote control plane. Look at that guy. And look dim. There's another pilot and another flight attendant for Texas International. They, when they, they would wear the boots. And those shoes, pretty groovy. Not as groovy as that other one though. Ooh, look at Sam. Sam over there. <laughs> Sam the pilot man. Sky King. And a lot of people might not know this, but um, this airport was the center of, or one of the original places of, that had uh, women Air Force Service pilots. And uh, later known as WASPs, W-A-S-P. There's some books and information about them. But, uh, they got started over here. That's pretty cool. I like the little one on the, uh, <laughs> see, like on a parachute. And it's like yearbooks and stuff. I like their uh, insignia. That's pretty cool.
Hmm? Female Air Force pilots. That's pretty cool. They have a, a special uh, selection of Texaco stuff in here. Yep, it's a pretty cool uh, building. And normally, uh, the upstairs, it's closed off. They don't have too much that's up there for display and that type of thing yet. Um, they have special events they'll have like access to that and there's like an observation area uh, you can go up there and check out the uh, the airfield outside and uh, this little section it's a uh, now it's used for the gift shop but this was originally where the uh, the food was the little uh, restaurant grill what have you is this is in a hangar uh, right near uh, the terminal building yeah and they have some things uh, some radar equipment mm -hmm. things like that and this this beacon is pretty neat beacon. I think you see me upside down in there because of the, the concave mirror back there yeah and the big light bulb <laughs> oh yeah here's a big setup <laughs> And in the, uh, the movie Airplane, they had the joke where one of these is actually a washing machine. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he opened up the round door and got his stuff out. All right, this is the second generation of the terminal, if I remember correctly. Okay, so the the old terminal building, the the 1940 building, is right up here. there. Okay, yeah. And then the where the new terminal is is basically at the top there. Yeah. 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 X marks the spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's something peeking at us over there. Yeah, That's a big our, Cessna. Uh, older volunteer guys made a mistake. Do a little repair work. Got out of the right tools. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the older volunteer tacked this out, and brakes weren't working, so he did oh, some major damage to it. Oh man. the jet taken off <laughs> well, so yeah went through an early restoration in 1986 that's pretty cool I don't think I've ever seen one like this there's some runway markers And there is a Texaco gas truck, fuel truck, not gas necessarily. Now this is a big one. <laughs> There's not a lot of luxury in this one. When you're down here, you can mess with your friend who's, who's 
piloting and pull on his leg because that's yeah. the bottom of the <laughs> seats right there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they'd like that too much, so. Rig no. nut. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing to do. Well, the CH 34 Army helicopter. Yep. And it actually has four propeller blades. Right now they're they're folded up. And you can kind of see when you want to move it and store it, you can fold them up. Now you can see two of them back there. Kind of lay on top of each other. Oh, look at that. My happy guy. He is happy too. It's a cutaway so you can study how yeah. it's built and how to work on it. Okay, yeah, these were, uh, this is the type of engine that would have had uh, World War II. Correct. They even have cut away the propeller itself. Three, four, five, six. You can see how it's put together. That's pretty cool. Be a nine cylinder, usually. Yeah, here's a little spin around of the inside the hangar here. That's just a, a wooden mock-up. And there's a couple of little towing trucks that pull the planes around. And there's the big doors that go out. And now we're back to the, the plane that had an accident and the gas truck. Yeah, this is the side of the airport terminal here. And off to the side there, you see the, the plane we got to see. And then the real, I mean, the, it's all a real airport, but the operating airport's out there. That's a, all the runways and stuff. But um, yeah, when they have the special events and stuff and big tours uh, or different circumstances, they have like an observation area up there you can go out on. Uh, you can't go up in the tower. You cannot go all the way up there. So. It, I ask, believe me, uh, but you can't do that. And then, uh, actually, the the um, that hangar right there was the for the Hughes uh, Howard Hughes, and a little bit further down, past the jet that's sitting there getting loaded up, and the the fuel truck is uh, the hangar that we were in. It's kind of at the end of the road down there. And I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. I think a plane's going to take off so we can see that in a minute. But the clouds are pretty low. And so when the planes take off, they go up in the cloud. Poof, they're gone. So we're going to try to see that if I can. Me. And I'll let you all see it too. If I don't run out of some batteries here. Oh wait, here he goes. I don't know if you can see it. He's taking off. He's getting some speed. Here he comes, he's coming. He's on the way. He's about to pass that little plane that's sitting there waiting. They passed him up, getting closer. It's a Southwest plane, by the way. South, Southwest. Here he comes, he's passing the, uh, the other plane. Oh, he's off the ground. Look that. Oh, look that. There they go. They're on their way. Watch, he's gonna disappear in a second. If you can still see him at all. We'll pull right by the street behind him. Look, there he goes. Boop. He's gone. On their way. And uh, it's surprising a lot of the uh, the hangars on this side of the airport around the terminal building are really old. Like you can see that one way in the back there with the kind of curved roof. 
That is a really old hangar. I'd like to thank uh, Mike, who works here, who uh, was kind enough to tell me a little bit about the history and some information about the airport, and also took me over to the, the other hangar that they, they have tours, you can, you can go in there. Uh, it's just not open all the time. You have to work with them and get somebody, a guide to bring you. Uh, but Mike was able to, to bring me out there and show me the, all, the, all the old radar stuff and those other planes and uh, the Texaco truck and all that and a big helicopter. <laughs> and uh, it's a very cool place. Uh, hopefully, uh, you in the Houston area, if you've never been here, you need to come by and see it. Uh, it's a really cool place, a nice piece of history in the process of being fully restored and, and open again. Well, it's open again already, but uh, I mean really open. So it's going to look just like it did back in its heyday. Hang on to something, because look, that's coming back pretty soon.